Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another foundation review, finally, and a first impression. It's not going to be on the Rimmel foundation, it's actually going to be on the new NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I've seen so many people use this online and I asked you guys if you wanted a review on it and so many of you said yes. So I can say it's been more requested than the Rimmel one and I thought because this just came out let me get this one up for you guys and since I have had it I just really really want to try it out um I know some of you are waiting for the Rimmel foundation review it will be up this week it's just well overdue now but it will be up this week it's just literally I haven't had the time to film it because I've been working and when I work I literally can't do anything like right now I woke up late and I'm in a rush <laughs> okay so this is what the packaging looks like it's so tiny though it's so cute it comes with like a little pipette kind of thing like this um but like this is my face and that's the bottle and this is my hand and that's the bottle like it's so tiny i didn't think it would be this small especially for the price it is 15 pounds but we'll see if it's worth it it has to be worth the 15 pounds because i did not i think 10 pounds would have been an all right price but 15. It's a bit pricey for a little tiny thing like this. Okay, so on the bottle it says light, do two drops, medium coverage, do three drops, and full coverage, do four drops. I've seen so many people not do that and just drop it on their face, so I'm just going to do that because, well, let me try with the four drops. I'm not going to drop it on my face because. I have my shirt for work on. So I'm done one, two, three, four. That does not look like enough for my face, but it's a good match. By the way, I got the shade caramel. It is like a bit yellow for my skin. I never thought I would say that, but See, I'm feeling like that blended into nothing. And I want to use my beauty blender because I want to use a little section with a brush, but I really don't think it will work with a brush. Especially after seeing many people use it. It's so fun to drop on your face though. <laughs> That's a pretty good match. I just hope it won't oxidize on me but I already feel like I'm using so much of it yeah let's do this side with a brush So far it's not bad. I do have to say though, I did really moisturize my skin before this. And I've used the um, Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisture Balm. And this is sitting pretty well on my skin. I have dry skin and I've seen that it sits really bad on some people. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see properly. The real question is how it's going to sit on the nose. I mean, both sides are okay, but I prefer the Beauty Blender Spy side. I'm actually really surprised at how this is looking right now. It's not bad. I might do a bit more here with the Beauty Blender. Even though the brush application was a bit alright, but this is even and this just looks really patchy to me. Chee chee! I 
I have seen though that people with oily skin love this foundation but I have to say I did get a good colour match it literally blends into nothing I'm just gonna go down my neck because just in case it does go dark at least it goes dark down my neck too bit more on the mouth area it's not even going patchy around my mouth area I always get these two round spots here so I'm just gonna blend that out I don't know but on this first impression I prefer a beauty blender it's looking okay I mean, it looks really soft on my skin. I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I've just finished everything. To be honest, I think everything went really well on top of the foundation. Uh, the only thing is that I applied my powder only on one side, so I'm gonna see if that makes a difference. Um, I do have primer underneath because it was in my moisturizer anyways. So yeah, it's, there is primer on my face. But to be honest, it really made my face look doll-like and I was not expecting this. Like I thought it was gonna flake up, go on patchy. My, friend, it, my blush is a bit overboard, but can we just ignore that? Um, but everything else looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. I really want you guys to see how it looks like, if it will focus. That's what it looks like. My forehead. My mouth area. I think, look at my nose guys. I think it's gone on pretty well. There's a bit of dryness, but nothing more than what I thought it would give. It's gone on my face really nicely. So to be honest, so far so good. It's working pretty well, but we're gonna see how it goes on through the day. I'm gonna go to work. It's gonna be a long day, but I'll be back and we'll see how it looks then. So I'm back, it's now around 7 p.m. It's been a super long day and the buses were so annoying. Oh my God. I did apply the foundation around, I believe it was like, 7 7 a.m. so it's been like a good 12 hours that I've been wearing this foundation I have to say like the foundation hasn't really let me down it's actually okay and much better than what I thought it would be because I've been watching all these reviews on it I thought it was gonna be so bad on my skin but it looks pretty good I mean it did give me a bit of smile lines this side is going patchy for some reason. I don't even know why. This side is fine. This side has like stayed put. and But I do have more smart lines than the side where I put powder. I mean, it looks like this one's bigger on camera. But this one was bugging me all day. But I did get smart lines with this foundation. Not as bad, but they were, they were there. This is what the foundation looks like. It looks pretty good to me. My mouth area is actually not bad. I didn't really get any ashiness around my mouth, which is a huge thumbs up. The foundation has faded a bit around my nose area, but weirdly enough, my face has gone a bit oily in these areas and normally it doesn't, which is so weird because I thought with this foundation it would be really, really matte. It didn't really go dry on me. It's a bit here, but my nose is actually kind of dry at the moment. I have to say this foundation is really good and I will reuse it i will keep using it i'm so surprised i do have to say though that i think you have to make sure that your skin's really hydrated before putting this on especially if you have dry skin i mean if you have oily skin i think this would be perfect for you but if you have dry skin i can i get what how that can attach to dry areas and my nose has been super flaky these past few days and it's not even done that but I feel like if I didn't put that moisturiser, it would have been a whole other story. If you did get it and you're having trouble with like dryness and stuff, try a really good moisturiser, like a rich moisturiser. In terms of coverage, it's perfect. Colour's perfect. I did get the shade Caramel, which is crazy because I bought it online. I don't even know how I managed to get a perfect colour. It blends really nice. I do prefer it with a beauty blender. I don't really like how it applies with a brush, to be honest. And it just really evens out your complexion. It gives you a bit of smile lines, 
which I'm fine, I just literally just dab it and it kind of just goes away. But yeah, like I said, it's just really good. Like, all here, it's like perfect. Around here is fine, and my nose is okay. It kind of did go a bit dry, but not like to the point where you can see it. You don't really notice it unless you look really up close. But it really stayed put all day. I've had this for 12 hours, guys, and it's still on pretty well. So do I think it's worth it? I do. Like, with my personal experience, like, I, th I think it's definitely worth it. I will definitely be using it a lot, actually. I think my skin looks really nice. I As you can see how nice it is. It looks nice. It's, it just matches perfectly, perfectly to my neck. I feel like the only downside to it is that I think it could have been a bit cheaper, like around £10. But £15 is okay for a foundation. I'm not bothered about the pipette. I think it's kind of fun when you drip it on your face, to be honest. And the coverage is perfect. And I... I, I see how you can control the coverage if you want to because I applied around two layers and guys it's so good I don't really see a difference between the powder and the non-powder side which is crazy even where I haven't set powder it's still on this side's fine I'm going a bit patchy here I have pigmentation here for some reason which is really bugging me but this side where there's no powder it's stayed it has stayed put if you guys have any questions about the foundation, ask them below. Again, I got the shade Caramel. I always get asked this question, even though like, I write in the info box and I say in the video, but I got the shade Caramel. <laughs> and yeah, that's it really. I would probably rate this foundation around an 8 out of 10. I'm rating it an 8 out of 10 because I have, I've tried better foundations. 8 out of 10 is a good, it's a good rating. I didn't think I was going to give it 8 out of 10 for this foundation. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to see any more foundation reviews like specific foundations let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye